Hey there! Today I have a different sort of video for you. It's actually all about math and we're going to be learning <laughs> together how you can use math to dress better. So lately I feel like I've been kind of getting into a style rut so I've been hitting hitting Google and trying to like search for ideas and style tips and in my search I actually came across something called the golden mean ratio and I don't know if you've heard of it but the golden mean ratio is actually a number and it's 1.618 and this is a ratio that actually was discovered by the Greeks and it's also known as phi or phi and it's named for the Greek sculptor Phidias. Okay <laughs> and okay it's a very special number apparently and it's calculated by taking a line and dividing it into two parts where the large part divided by the small part is equal to the entire line divided by the large part. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. But anyway, it comes out to 1.618033938 blah 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 and goes on and on. So apparently this phi or phi, I'm not even sure how it's pronounced because some I, I googled it and some places call it phi and some phi. But let's just call it phi. But that's how uh, most people pronounce it, I think. Okay, but this ratio has actually been used by the Greeks and you can see it in their artwork, also in their architecture. For example, the Parthenon. <laughs> and also even Leonardo da Vinci, he referred to it as the divine proportion and he used it in a lot of his paintings. Like for example, the Mona Lisa. Also, which is also very interesting and beyond the scope of this video, this golden ratio can be found in nature as well and it's even found in our own DNA. So it's very special and this proportion is actually something I guess we consider beautiful and it's just something that we're drawn to for some reason. So even unconsciously we might be using this golden ratio when we get dressed or whatever without even knowing it. <laughs> okay, so now that we have a general idea of what the golden ratio is, you're probably wondering, how can it help you dress better? <laughs> so basically what you do is you apply that golden ratio to your outfits. But it's actually easier to understand if you look at some real examples. So I found a couple examples on the internet and the first is demonstrated with a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. So if you look at the first picture, you'll see that the t-shirt cuts off the body at about the halfway point so that it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And although that's very symmetrical, the eye doesn't perceive that as, as beautiful as if you were utilizing the golden ratio. So to make this outfit more attractive, you'll see the, in the second picture, the t-shirt is shortened, which elongates the bottom part so it's no longer a 1 to 1 ratio, but a 1 to 1.6 ratio. So yeah, so the second outfit is considered more in line with the golden ratio and therefore more attractive. Okay, let's look at one more example. Okay, so this one is a dress. And you'll see that the dress is pretty long and um, on the bottom there are some tights. So that represents a 1 to 2 ratio. So the dress is roughly twice as long as your tights. And to make that outfit look more attractive, you'll see the second picture, which reflects the use of the golden ratio. So in this case, the dress is 1.6 and the tights is one. So that's the ratio, 1.6 to one. So you'll see that it instantly looks better. Okay, and there's also a nifty trick that I learned, did I just say nifty? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that I learned on the internet, and it's how to calculate your most flattering hemline using the golden ratio. So I thought this was actually really good information. So the way you do it, you actually have to measure your length of your body, and that's from your shoulders to your feet. And I had to get my husband to help me measure and I, for me, and I'm 5'1", it came out to 51 inches. And if you plan to wear heels, you have to add that in too. So usually I wear like three inch 
heels or wedges. So that my total is 54 inches. And then you take that total and you divide by the golden ratio, which is 1.618. And that result is your ideal hemline. Okay, so for me, that ideal hemline came out to 33.37, and that's with heels. If I were to wear flats, it was 31.52. So I thought that actually seemed a little short. <laughs> so I would say, yeah, that might be the most flattering length for me, but probably practically I'll have to increase that by a couple inches. And I've also seen online that people generally apply the golden ratio by, um, instead of a 1 to 1.618, which is kind of a kind of an exact number, they typically use a 2 to 3 ratio, which breaks down to 1 to 1.5, or a 3 to 5 ratio, which breaks down to 1 to 1.7. So yeah, I think you just have to use your judgment, but it's just basically kind of a guide. Okay, so now that I've quickly explained what the golden ratio is, and how it can help you to dress better, I'm going to go ahead and see if it actually works. So I'm going to put it into practice by trying to create three outfits using this golden ratio and to see if they actually look good. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, so I went to my closet and tried to come up with some outfits that would put this golden mean ratio rule to the test. <laughs> okay, so first up, I paired a tunic length sweater, a pair of jeans, and I just had black flats. So as you can see in the picture, it pretty much cuts me off. So I don't think that is the most flattering look, but it's probably something that I would have probably worn anyway. Hmm. But according to the golden mean ratio, yes, a one to one is not the most flattering. So to adjust it to more of a golden mean ratio, I did a front tuck and I also added a pair of higher shoes. So these are like wedge peep toe sandals. And yeah, I think that does look more attractive. And I also what I did was I um, used my Echo Look to do a style check on this. And it said that the golden mean ratio outfit was a lot better. So yeah, I would say that this, this is a more flattering look. I can just tell by looking at the picture right away and um, yeah, so I would say if you wanted to wear a tunic length sweater, it is kind of challenging for someone like me who's only 5'1", but you could just add heels. I think it would still look okay. It would look definitely better. It wouldn't hit the golden mean, but it wouldn't be one-to-one. -one. Or you could try to get like a tunic length sweater that maybe is just a couple inches shorter. I think that could work, yeah. If you're tall, no problem. <laughs> okay, and next, <laughs> I tried comparing a longer dress, and I actually don't have too many of those. I was checking through my wardrobe, and I must have got, gotten rid of the ones that I had. So um, this is one that I recently got from the from Golden Tote that I actually really like, but it is kind of on the longer side. It's not quite a maxi, but um, more of a midi length. So I compare that to another dress that I had gotten recently from Mix and Match that's kind of a similar kind of faux wrap style. A little bit different print, but the size of the flowers is about the same. Uh, this one's considerably shorter though. It's about a little bit above the knee. And although that isn't <laughs> the golden mean ratio uh, ideal length, I mean, it's supposed to be a lot shorter than that. But in this case, I also put it to the test. And as you can see, the golden mean ratio ish dress which which is with the shorter hemline was a lot um, it liked it a lot better than it did the, the longer style so so yeah so I think for me the shorter hemline looks better okay and for my last outfit <laughs> I have this one skirt and it this one is also a longer skirt but I thought I'd try applying the golden mean because it actually could be applied to your height but it also could be applied to your pieces of clothing as compared to each other. So in this case, I'm comparing the shirt. I have a black t-shirt and skirt. So when I wear it out, it's like it cuts off at a one-to-one -one ratio. So to adjust it to more of a golden mean ratio, I um, tucked it in and then it was a little too short. So I added a black belt so you have 
more of the golden mean ratio. This one I would say is more like a 1 to 1.5. So that's still within margin of error, I think. <laughs> and then I use my echo look to put it to the test. And again, the golden mean outfit seems to have one out. So, hmm. Okay, so that's all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's something kind of different and part of why I started this channel is to kind of share knowledge and you know like so if I learn something I'd like to pass it on and I think it's just kind of fun you know to well I don't know I don't know if math is that fun to be honest but when you relate it to clothing I think it becomes fun right and it to me, it was kind of interesting to see that something that you kind of instinctively know, you know, like when you're looking in the mirror, actually has some science behind it. But anyway, that's all I have for today. And now I'm going to have Kaya, who is the only one in this room, help me say goodbye. <laughs> Come, Kaya. Kaya. Her face is all smooshed because she was lying down. Come, Kaya. Here you go. Ooh. Okay, and here is Miss Kaya and she's just so sweet and cuddly. She's like a stuffed animal come to life. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> That's no exaggeration, right Kaya? Yes, you are sweet. Okay, and now, and I guess that's all I have and I see my battery light is blinking, so I better go. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I do a lot of shopping, <laughs> shopping hauls and unboxing videos and I guess some educational math videos occasionally <laughs> and if you enjoy watching those kind of videos please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time